But now, aged well over 70, perhaps he's softened. We meet inside Casa Popolui's vast pillared halls at an event where I've been charged with talking about Romania's image in Britain. The audience in the room is youthful and buzzing. Pandeli looks at me and smiles. Everyone here speaks such good English. It's really impressive. Modern multilingual Romania is a force to be reckoned with, and being inside the house of the people makes the evening feel like a real event. PhD student Ioana Gareanu tells me, I like the building. People died for it. We have to use it well and make it a symbol of democracy in the face of Ceausescu. So why, despite its many hits on Instagram, is that not the takeaway story of modern Romania? The country once run by lunatics that has turned itself around. The dictator's palace that now genuinely is the house of the people. Why, my audience wants to know, is Romania so often given a drubbing in the foreign press? Young Romanians born after the revolution often ask me this. I don't have the answer. Instead, I share a story of another building, far from Bucharest, tucked under the armpit of Ukraine, on the flat plains of Moldova, in a town called Sorette.